Skyworks is proud to announce the Sky 66430-11, a multi-band, multi-chip system and package in partnership with Sequence Communications. Pre-certified with major mobile network operators and enabling 5G massive IoT designs, the SIP integrates a cellular modem, transceiver, multi-band front end, power management, and memory. All these functions are integrated into a thin 8.8 by 10.8 by 0.95 mm BGA package. The Sky 66430-11 EK1 is a complete evaluation board kit that ships with a TruePhone 3-month prepaid SIM. The SIP draws current from the USB port, so there's no need for an external power supply. The kit comes with a Sky 66430-11 pre-installed. The two USB ports that can communicate with three UART ports of the SIP via the onboard USB to UART bridge. A JTAG port is reserved for firmware upgrades if needed. The antenna port is routed to an SMA type connector for external test equipment or antenna connection. And there's a reset button for rebooting the SIP. Now let's get started with the Sky 664311 evaluation kit. In the kit you will find an EVB, a TruePhone SIM card, and a USB cable. The TruePhone SIM card comes with a free 3 month data plan of 150 megabytes and needs to be activated before it's first used. You will need to create an account with TruePhone and activate your SIM card from the TruePhone web portal. Please refer to the Sky 66430-11 Evaluation Board User Manual for more details. Turning the PCB over, you will see the SIM card slot located on the bottom side of the PCB. Please identify the correct orientation of the SIM card and insert it into the slot. Now connect the antenna to the EVB SMA connector. There are three UART ports supported by the EVB. Looking from this direction, the top USB connector is for UART 0 and 1. The bottom one is for UART 2. Please plug the USB cable into the top USB port marked with a J7020 as we will be using UART0 for AT command. Now let's plug the USB cable into a PC USB port. You might be asked to download the FTDI USB to UART bridge driver if the driver has never been installed. Now open the device manager. There will be two USB serial ports shown as COM9 and COM10. The COM port enumeration can be different depending on the PC. Here COM9 is for UART0 and COM10 is for UART1. Now let's use the serial terminal program to communicate with the EVB. Open the TerraTerm program. In the pop-up window, check Serial. Then go to the port drop-down list and choose the UART1 COM port. Here it is COM9. Click OK. Then go to the setup menu and select Serial Port Configuration. Change the baud rate to 115200 and click New Setting. Now let's start to use AT commands to communicate with the EVB. For details on the AT commands, please refer to the latest AT command document. In the TerraTerm window, type AT then hit Enter. If you do not see anything showing on the screen, Echo may not be set to on. If so, please type ATE1 then hit Enter. Now, let's try to configure the LTE bands which we'll be using for the test. The Sky 664311 supports 18 bands. For AT&T in the US, we'll be using bands 2, 4, and 12. First, let's configure the test mode by typing AT plus SQN CTM equals standard and hit enter. This will enable standard 3GPP mode. Type AT plus SQN CTM question mark and hit enter to confirm it is in the test mode. Then type AT plus SQN band SEL equals 0 standard 2, 4, and 12 and hit enter. This will configure the test band 2, 4, and 12. Type AT plus CFUN equals 1 and this will allow the device to connect to the network and check your SIM card status. Then type AT plus CPIN question mark and hit enter. Now we can see the SIM is present and ready for use. 
We can also use AT plus CGSN equals 1 to get the IMEI number. This is the IMEI number for this mobile terminal. Now we use AT commands to evaluate the Sky 66430-11 system and package. To check the signal quality, we can type AT plus CSQ and hit enter. Now we can see the response will be 1699. The first two digits 16 indicate the signal strength, and the second two digits 99 are for BER. We can also send packets to the network by using AT plus ping to ping the network. For a quick lookup of available AT commands, simply type AT plus CLAC and hit enter. A complete list of AT commands will be displayed. This concludes the demo of the Sky 6643011 Evaluation Board. For key product and evaluation kit documentation, go to cloud.sequence.com. And for more information on the Sky 6643-11, go to skyworksinc.com.